Hi friends, today we're going to work on our letter of the week lesson. So there's a lot of different things that we usually do for letter of the week and we're going to do a lot of them today in one lesson. But moms and dads, if you want, you can pause after a certain point and then do the next point the next day or however you want. But I'm going to go through our letter of the week book, our flip chart, our rhyme, the words that start with W and how to write our W just so we get all of our letter of the week things done today in our video and then you can use it throughout the week as you see fit. Okay, so let's get started. Our letter of the week is W. Okay, so when you are opening your letter of the week booklets today, you will find your first page to do with W. Okay, so you'll have some W tracing to do. So let's make sure that we know how to write a W. Okay, a capital W is going to look like this. I'm going to do a big line down, big line up, big line down, big line up. Okay, then a lowercase w is a little different because it's not going to have these diagonal lines with the points. It's going to have some curved lines. So it looks like this. Curve down, curve up. Curve down, curve up. Okay, so let's say it with me. What are these letters? Capital W, lowercase w. Okay, one more time. Capital W, lowercase w. Good job. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the letter sound. Now the W is interesting because it's called W, but the letter doesn't sound like that at all when we hear it in words. A W sounds like W, W. You make that sound? W, W. So it's very different than other letters. Like when we did the letter T, T makes the sound t, almost the same. Like we did the letter V makes the sound v, almost the same. But W does not make the same sound as its name. So when you see a capital W or a lowercase W, you can know the name, but then remember, it sounds like w, w. So let's think. What are some things that you know that make the sound w at the beginning when you first make a sound to say that word? W. W. Watermelon. W. Watermelon. Delicious. That starts with W. A uh, w windmill. W windmill. That starts with W. A uh, wheel. W wheel. That starts with W. Oh, this is one of my favorite animals. A uh, w. Whale, whale, makes the sound w, starts with w. Oh, you like this. <laughs> A w whistle, lots of you like to play with my whistle. Starts with w. Oh, you can all find these in your house. A w. Window. Window starts with W. And look at that. Use your really good eyes God gave you and you can see. Look. Here, I'll show you. It starts with W. It ends with W. How about that? <laughs> w at the beginning. W at the end. W window. Okay, let's see. A W watch. Watch starts with W. And a uh, wall. 
wall starts with W. So that's a lot of things that start with W. Let's say the letter again. Capital W, lowercase w, and it makes the sound w. Well, let's read our story, okay? That's the next part of our letter of the week lesson is to read our story. I'll move my chair a little bit closer so that you can see some of the pictures. We'll see if we can find some things that start with W. <laughs> I see some on the front already. It's called Worms Wagon. Look at all these W's. Capital W, lowercase w. Worm starts with W. And Wagon starts with W. Now look at that. Did you see something tricky? Worm has a W at the beginning and an M at the end. Sometimes we get those confused. Let me show you on the board real quick. <clears throat> if we make an M, right, it looks like this. Big line down, come back to the top, big line to the middle, big line up, and big line down. So it almost looks like a W upside down. So I know there are some times where you help your friends if they see an M and then they say, oh, that's a W. No, that's an M. This is a W, right? So that's interesting. And the word worm, they're already giving us a little bit of a lesson about the difference between W and M. That's good. All right, Worms Wagon. Now you're gonna hear me make the sound W a lot. That's the sound that W makes and it's a W book. One day, Worm went to the woods to gather walnuts. He brought his wagon with him. Worm, wagon, start with W. On his way home, Worm saw Woodpecker whistling in a weeping willow. Woodpecker asked Worm for a ride. Worm wiggled along, pulling Woodpecker in his wagon. Soon they came upon a Weasel eating watermelon. Weasel asked Worm for a ride. How about you look at that picture, take a minute, and see what things start with W. Can you think of them in your mind? Which animals make a W sound? Did you think of W worm, W woodpecker? Did you think of W weasel? Do you see what Weasel is eating. What does that start with? W. W. Watermelon. Good. Well, let's see who else Worm can find. Worm wiggled along, pulling Woodpecker and Weasel in his wagon. Before long, they bumped into Wombat, wearing her new wig. Wombat asked Worm for a ride. Worm wiggled along, pulling Woodpecker, Weasel, and Wombat in his wagon. Next, they met Wolf on his way to work. Wolf asked Worm for a ride. Wow, I am saying W's a lot. There's a lot of animals that start with W. Wolf, Wombat, Woodpecker, Weasel. There's a lot. Worm wiggled along, pulling Woodpecker, Weasel, Wombat, and Wolf in his wagon. Soon they saw Walrus winking and waving. Walrus asked Worm for a ride. Worm wiggled along, pulling Woodpecker, Weasel, Wombat, Wolf, and Walrus in his wagon. Up ahead they saw Whale playing in the water. Whale asked Worm for a ride. Oh. Look at Worm's face. Does he look like he's getting tired? 
That's a lot of friends to be pulling in his wagon. That looks like some hard work. Do you think he's going to be able to pull a whale in his wagon? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> Worm wiggled with all his might, trying to pull woodpecker, weasel, wombat, wolf, walrus, and whale in the wagon. But the wagon would not move. The wheels started to wobble. Wham! The weight was too much for the wagon. It crashed to the ground. Oh no, my wagon, Worm wailed. Oh. oh no. Don't worry, Worm, the animal said. Worm's friends worked on the wagon all afternoon. Oh, what good friends. Look, they're fixing his wagon. When the wagon was fixed, Worm wiggled into it. Then wombat, weasel, wolf, woodpecker, walrus, and whale pulled Worm all the way home. And weary Worm had a wonderful ride. The end. Hmm. That was a good story about friends helping each other. I liked that.